Pete Townshend, a notable figure in the music scene of his era, stands out from his contemporaries for his innovative approach to songwriting and guitar playing. The first time many recognized him was through his influential role as a guitarist and primary songwriter for The Who. What sets him apart is his knack for infusing raw energy and introspective lyrics into his music. Now, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic musician. Share your stories in the comments below. As we delve into his journey, stay tuned for some surprising, amusing, and poignant facts. Keep watching. There's more to discover about Pete Townshend. Born on May 19, 1945, in Chiswick, London, Pete Townshend spent his early years immersed in a musical family. His parents, Cliff and Betty Townshend, supported his artistic inclinations, with Betty being a singer and Cliff a professional saxophonist. Growing up in a household resonating with music, he developed an early passion for the art form. Townshend's childhood took a poignant turn when he encountered the teachings of his grandmother, Emma Dennis. She introduced him to the teachings of Meher Baba, a spiritual figure who profoundly influenced his life. This connection with spirituality would later find expression in his music and personal philosophies. Educated at Acton County Grammar School, he formed his first band, the Confederates, at the age of 16. The early 1960s saw him exploring the vibrant mod scene, shaping his musical tastes. It was during this time that he met Roger Daltrey and John Entwistle, laying the foundation for what would become The Who. The pivotal moment for his career occurred when he embraced the role of the band's primary songwriter. His songwriting skills, coupled with innovative guitar techniques, played a crucial role in defining The Who's sound. The band's debut album, My Generation, released in 1965, marked the beginning of his enduring influence on the rock music landscape. As the turbulent 1960s unfolded, his songwriting took on a reflective and introspective quality. Albums like Tommy and Quadrophenia showcased his ability to weave complex narratives into rock operas, solidifying his reputation as a visionary artist. His iconic guitar-smashing performances became symbolic of the Who's energetic stage presence. Despite struggles with personal challenges, including issues with substance abuse, his commitment to artistic exploration remained unwavering. His solo career, which began in the 1970s, further highlighted his diverse musical talents and songwriting prowess. Pete Townshend's early life experiences, rooted in a musical household and shaped by spiritual influences, laid the groundwork for a career marked by innovation and introspection. His journey from a mod enthusiast to a legendary figure in rock music showcases the transformative power of passion and creative expression. Betty, the mother of the renowned artist Pete Townshend, was a singer herself. Her son's musical journey reached a pinnacle when, in 1990, he was elected to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of The Who. Notably, Townshend's influence extends beyond his rock legacy. The TV series CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, and its spin-offs, CSI, Miami, and CSI, NY, prominently feature songs by Townshend and The Who as their theme tunes. Who Are You, Won't Get Fooled Again, and Baba O'Reilly are among the tracks that have become synonymous with these crime dramas. These facts underscore his impact not only in the realm of rock, but also in the wider cultural landscape, where his music has found a place in the iconic soundscape of popular television. Invited by Roger Daltrey and encouraged by old classmate John Entwistle, he joined The Who, marking the beginning of a remarkable musical journey. However, his life wasn't solely defined by his rock legacy. Since 1968, he has actively participated in various charitable endeavors. From supporting the Mihar Baba Association to contributing to causes like the Children's Health Fund and the Teenage Cancer Trust, he has demonstrated a long-standing commitment to philanthropy. Amidst these charitable pursuits, his early life was marked by personal challenges. His parents' separation left him in the care of his maternal grandmother, who struggled with mental health issues. Despite these hardships, his resilience shaped his path towards becoming a significant figure in the music industry. Best friend of Roger Daltrey and last surviving member of the who he shares a unique and enduring bond with Roger Daltrey, the only surviving members of the who, a legendary rock band. Their friendship has withstood the test of time, shaping the narrative of a remarkable musical journey that began decades ago. This camaraderie not only solidified their personal connection, but also played a pivotal role in the continued legacy of The Who. 
Tony Award winner for The Who's Tommy in 1993, he clinched Broadway's prestigious Tony Award for Best Score, earning recognition for both music and lyrics. This exceptional achievement was tied with John Kander and Fred Ebb for Kiss of the Spider Woman, the musical. Moreover, he secured a nomination for Best Book alongside collaborator Des McKenna for the same production, showcasing his prowess not only as a musician, but also as a versatile talent in the realm of theater. Confrontation at Woodstock during the Who's performance at Woodstock, a historic moment unfolded when he took a decisive stand. Yippie leader Abby Hoffman interrupted the performance to voice grievances about the festival and make a speech about imprisoned radical John Sinclair. In a bold move, he kicked Hoffman off the stage, asserting control and maintaining the integrity of the Who's performance. This incident became a testament to his unwavering dedication to his craft and his refusal to let external disruptions overshadow the music. In conclusion, from enduring friendships to Broadway acclaim and even facing challenges on stage, he has left an indelible mark on the world of music and beyond. His journey is a testament to resilience, talent, and a commitment to staying true to his craft amidst the ever-changing landscapes of the music industry and popular culture. In 1969, The Who's album Tommy secured a notable third position in Classic Rock magazine's list of the 30 greatest concept albums of all time. As the lead guitarist of The Who, Pete Townshend, alongside Roger Daltrey and the late John Entwistle and Keith Moon, played a pivotal role in shaping the band's legacy. His impact extends beyond stage performances. The Who's Tommy, staged at the Circle Theater in Chicago, Illinois, earned a 2010 Joseph Jefferson Award nomination for production of a musical. This recognition highlights not only his influence in rock, but also his foray into the realm of musical theater. Beyond the accolades, Townshend's journey is marked by resilience and a commitment to philanthropy. From supporting organizations like the Meher Baba Association to contributing to causes such as the Children's Health Fund and the Teenage Cancer Trust, he actively engages in charitable endeavors since 1968. His ability to navigate challenges is evident in historical moments like the Woodstock confrontation. When Yippie leader Abby Hoffman interrupted their performance, he boldly took a stand, maintaining the integrity of the music and showcasing unwavering dedication to his craft. In the realm of Broadway, his achievements are noteworthy. In 1993, he clinched Broadway's prestigious Tony Award for Best Score for The Who's Tommy, showcasing versatility not just as a musician, but also as a talent in the world of theater. In conclusion, Pete Townsend's journey is a testament to resilience, talent, and a commitment to staying true to his craft amidst the ever-changing landscapes of the music industry and popular culture. Assisting Eric Clapton in overcoming heroin addiction, Pete Townshend played a crucial role in his journey to recovery. In gratitude, Clapton agreed to participate in the 1975 film Tommy, a collaboration that showcased Townshend's influence in both music and cinema. Known for iconic songs like My Generation, Pinball Wizard, Tommy, Can You Hear Me? See Me, Feel Me, Won't Get Fooled Again, Behind Blue Eyes, Baba O'Reilly, and Who Are You? His songwriting prowess has left an enduring mark on the landscape of rock music. Despite musical achievements, Townsend faces the constant challenge of tinnitus, a ringing in the ears attributed to prolonged exposure to loud rock music. This health aspect adds a layer of vulnerability to his otherwise impactful career. From aiding fellow musicians in overcoming addiction to crafting timeless songs and battling personal health issues, his journey is a testament to the complexities and challenges faced by artists in the music industry. This multifaceted narrative underscores not only musical contributions, but also the human aspects that shape an artist's life. Born on the same day as ZZ Top bassist Dusty Hill, ACDC drummer Phil Rudd, and Ramon's vocalist Joey Ramon, Pete Townshend shares his birthday with notable figures in the music industry. The Who, the band he played a pivotal role in, earned the 29th spot on Rolling Stone's list of the greatest rock and roll artists of all time. His musical lineage includes his father Clive, a saxophonist with the Squadronaires Royal Air Force Dance Band. Growing up amidst a musical backdrop, his journey into the world of rock would become significant. His contributions, especially with The Who, extend beyond personal achievements. The band's impact is recognized globally, securing a position in the annals of rock history. The collaborative synergy within The Who shaped their sound, making them a force to be reckoned with. 
the influence of his father Clive, a saxophonist in the Squadronaires Royal Air Force Dance Band, laid the foundation for his musical inclination. This familial connection to music became a defining aspect of his early life, setting the stage for future endeavors in the rock landscape. His legacy is further solidified by the whose recognition in Rolling Stones rankings. Voted the 29th greatest rock and roll artist of all time, their impact spans generations and genres. The collaborative efforts of band members, including Pete Townshend, shaped the sonic landscape of their era and beyond. The musical journey is intertwined with the Who's success and influence. From familial ties to global recognition, his impact resonates not only as an individual artist, but also as an integral part of a legendary rock band. This brief overview sets the stage for a deeper exploration of contributions to music both within and beyond the Who.